Every time I talk about only hooking up with men who eat my <laughs> and loving schmegs, I get this. This is how I know how true my statements are, how true my videos are. Every time I write an article or do a video about um, younger men loving older women, um, not always, okay, not all men. Basically, like this video is about how um, I centered my pleasure in the bedroom and how I, I loved hookups because I made men center me and my pleasure. When I talk about that, and especially if I'm talking about younger men, men hate it. And look at this. She clearly doesn't. She looks like she's 80 plus. Really? I look like I'm 80 plus. Are you? <laughs> From all the unneeded rage her old dumb ah conjures up. The video this is attached to is me having so much fun talking about how much great schmegs I had and how I went about doing that. And this person right here, okay. they hate it, y'all. Men hate it when we love schmegs. They hate it. Not all men. Men who are very secure in their masculinity or secure in themselves, who love themselves, they don't mind it at all. They actually prefer it. They, they get off on pleasing women because they're like man look what I just did yeah even if it's rooted in ego it's still getting pleasure from pleasuring someone and those are the only kinds of men I hook up with or have hooked up with in the last like five years and that's why I started loving schmags let me just so here's here's a good litmus test anytime you say something about men or patriarchy the madder men get the truer it is okay let me give you another example when I wrote this article for Glamour, it did pretty good, you know? It did pretty good, but you know what made it blow up? This. Once these misogynistic tabloids got a hand, <laughs> I don't hold on my story. 17 of them did this to me, okay? Notice cougar is in all caps. By the way, I use the word cougar in that article to make fun of the term because there really is no, there's no such thing. There's no such thing, okay? It wasn't just the Daily Mail, it was the star. I don't know why they all use this bike photo, but they, they went on my Facebook page and ripped off all these photos. I mean, the sun did it too. The sun actually emailed me and asked me for photos. And I was like, can you please not publish this because you, you're slut shaming me? And they're like, no, we're gonna publish it, but either you choose the photos or we do. <laughs> and in that email, I was like, okay, well, fine, I guess, if I have no say in it. Can you please just like tone down the misogyny? And they're like, oh, don't worry. We won't make you sound like a terrible person because you're not a terrible person. I know that. You're terrible. Yeah, 17 publications, including this one, which I still don't know what it is, but I've been told by my followers this is Serbian, I think. And I, at one point in time, was the number one um, example of cougar in the dictionary. <laughs> now, if that was not enough, like, I've written about a lot of things, y'all, but that, that article pissed off more men than anything I've ever written. Even that viral run I wrote for Harper's Bazaar, that men have no friends and women bear the burden. That one didn't piss off men that much. It, it kind of did, but they actually liked it. They love attention. But me saying that I am centering my pleasure and I love hooking up with younger guys because a lot of them are more progressive. Not all of them, okay? One of my exes, the ex who almost, me, he was younger as well, okay? So before someone's like, oh my God, no, younger men are the worst. They're all bad. But younger men tend to be a little more progressive sometimes. But more importantly, the whole point of that was to tell women that you do not hit the wall. You, there is no wall. And as some, one of my favorite comments ever on my videos, men are the wall. They are the only thing they're gonna age you. <laughs> they are the wall and they're the ones who age terribly. Dude, I'm 45. Tell me I look 80. Say that to my face. Oh wait, you can't because you're a coward. Also, I'm gonna block you anyway because bye. I just want y'all to stop believing what men say. So in that, just one of those, I think this is the Daily Mail. There were like, I think 205 comments. I don't know if you can read, you can't read them this fast. If you really wanna have fun, go look it up or read some. They're all like, oh, she looks 60. There's no, no, there's no way she's a day under 50. There's no way she's not 70. They're all full of crap, y'all. Yeah, 209. 209 and just this one, 17 tabloids. I didn't bother reading all the comments. I usually don't put myself through that, but I just wanted to show y'all. The more upset men get at something you say about men or something you say that to them directly in terms of calling them out, the more upset they get, the truer it is usually. <laughs>
I mean, most men are kind of raised to be narcissists, you know, <laughs> like, I know we throw that word around, but okay, I'll just even speak for myself. Anytime I have gotten defensive about things, it's usually because I know it's true. So you guys can't fool me. You're so predictable. And then like a year or two after I wrote that article, I met this dude and married him. And he's also younger. <laughs> Perma Cougar. Seriously, y'all, take it from me. Don't listen to anything these men say. I have been trolled and stalked and harassed by them for years. And every time they come after me, it's because I've said something true. And if I can take thousands of men telling me that I'm, I'm ugly, no one will ever hate me again, that I'm, you know, should myself, and all the things that I get on a regular basis, I can take all that and not internalize it now. It's not easy, but I can do it because I know men are full of shit. <laughs> so don't believe what they say ever. They're all liars. And everything they say, everything they say is projection. Because they hate themselves. And the only way they know how to deal with that is to make try to make you hate yourself. Don't do it. Because they win when you do.